Okay. Ah. All right. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome to the fifth episode, actually part two of the gaming edition of Tech Talk. I am your host, Corey. This is co-host for the gaming edition, Courtney Tiffmore. <laughs> <laughs> so today's episode, we're going to cover the recap of the gaming awards, a rant, and um, yeah, we're gonna have to follow this. They do this? Yeah, of course. Super, all right. <laughs> so we are going to go over the elephant in the room. Red Dead Redemption. So apparently, um, if you all not known, if you haven't watched it yet, they won a couple of awards that they probably should not have won. Uh, <laughs> for instance, narrative. So they won best narrative. However, their opponents the other nominees were Detroit Become Human and God of War, let's just leave it to those two, and Spider-Man. However, Red Dead won. They should have won. I, I agree, they should not have won. Um, yeah, that's not that's not an award for them that I can see, because to me, it's just, it, there wasn't much to it. Their narrative, if compared to God of War, and compared oh, to, especially Detroit. like Detroit and Human, yeah. like, yeah, that's just not something that I would go I for. Spider-Man. Oh God, I know. I don't know about Life is Strange because clearly I haven't played it yet, but the other three, I think have a better narrative approach. Mm -hmm. Of course, Red Dead won so many awards because of the, it's based off of popularity. Since yes. The game is newer mm -hmm. compared to the other nominees mm -hmm. in that category. So it just went based by popularity votes. Yeah, and it was like I said, it was the most recent game. Yeah. The, the last of, any of this stuff that's on the list. Most recent games, of course, if you have that popularity contest, they tend to win. They should not have won. In our opinion, music presented by Spotify. Again, God of War. I would say God of War and. But not Spider No. Probably Octopath God of War. I would give over Red Dead. Because I don't. Like, who's turning on Spotify? To listen to Western music. Or Western music. Like Red no. Dead. Like. <laughs> but here's the funny part. Even when they they had the orchestra playing it, mm -hmm. at the thing, you can tell it's like, who the heck is listening to like this? Like the last yeah. performance that they had for it was good. I'll give them that. Everything else before it, I'm like, like who's walking down the shore jamming in their car down the road? <laughs> like, yo, let me turn on that Red Dead soundtrack real quick. Which comes up to my next category. Best audio design presented by Atopi. Red Dead. Again, they went up against Call of Duty Black Ops, Forza Horizon 4, God of War, whatever, God of War and Marvel Spider-Man. Again, Red Dead 1. I don't understand how. Like, if you're going based off of what, let's see, recognizing best in-game audio and sound design, I mean, God of War just has an overall better surround sound, like sound design to it and not uh, Red Dead. Yeah. I just can't, like, and I played it for a bit, like, for a bit, just for me, the enough to look at it, I was like, you know what, it's not for me. <laughs> like, especially the first one, I didn't, I didn't really play the first Red Dead, Red Dead. Yeah, this was not cutting it at all. It's a good game, but... No, it's a good game, but God of War is just, like, so much tears yeah. above, like, for me, it's like, this is another tier above. And that's why it won Game of the Year. Which I agree, I if it did, it, oh god, if it did, <laughs> if it did, it would have been there have been a humongous problem. A humongous problem. Best performance. Red Dead. Over Christopher Judge. First of all, Christopher Judge was at the awards and he was presenting. I heard this man's voice. This <laughs> is like, I heard his voice. Like, there's no way that you can explain to me how that did not win. Like, it's just an old Western game. It, no, it's based off popularity. And red, it's based off popularity and it's based off how Rockstar develops their games. Yes. So, everyone, everyone should love Rockstar. For no, the they GTA do. Yes. The Red Dead. So, of course, it's going to 
win. But there's just certain like I get, and I think because they, they struck it perfectly, mm -hmm. they re they released the game like yeah. a month or two before like, it awards. If this was flip flopped, if Red Dead would have came out, let's say with Spider Man, for instance, and then yes. God of War would have dropped when Red Dead dropped, God of War would have probably just just swept the awards pretty much. In yes, my opinion. true. So I was just. Maybe it's just maybe being fair to, to not make it so... Like, if God of War would have won a majority of them, I can actually understand that. Yeah. There was a point where it first started off where we were worried that Red Dead was going to sweep, and I'm like, this is sad. I would have cried. Like, this is sacrilege. <laughs> this is sacrilege. <laughs> like, there's no way that that should happen, and it almost it almost did. Yeah. Almost until they kind of realized, okay, let's not, it's a, let's not go this route. People who voted for Game of the Year were actually smart <sighs> people who voted. I know. But I have a gripe. Okay. Best action game. Mm -hmm. Dead Cells? Dead Cells won. Like, I don't know. Like, and it went up against Far Cry 5. It went up against Call of Duty Black Ops. It went up against Destiny and, and Dead Cells. And maybe you need to go play Dead Cells. I... No, no, no. You can't really... No, I don't... Why? Okay, I'll give it a try. Okay. But... I don't know. I feel like an action game. There's like so much to it, and this game looks like an arcade game. Well, that's your problem. What's my problem? You don't branch out. I do branch out. I play Mega Man. When was the last time you played Mega Man? I did that one time. When? What? When? What was the last one? Not 11. The one before that. <laughs> so I did. Terrible person. <laughs> well, Bank's best action adventure game did go to God of War. Smart move. Well, well, at the time, the way that was going. <laughs> you gotta have faith. Dude, I do have faith. It's just the way it was going. It was not really... Oh, uh, I did not. Like, the way it was going, I'm like, Lord, it's about to be a way flood. And I'm about to go upstairs. <laughs> it's just about to Pack my bags. Pack my bags, and I'm going. Role-playing game. Monster Hunter World 1. Of course it is. Well, of course. I mean... And they do have an uh, um, expansion coming out next oh, year. Oh, so that does help. Yes. Okay. Extremely. Yes. Because I'm a player. <laughs> Having a tough Monster Hunter and God knows how long, well, but I will soon enough. <laughs> tell you that much. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not coming out until they say autumn next year, but. So fall, basically. Yeah, basically. October, November. Probably like September. Around that. Yeah, around that time. I'm assuming between September and November. Okay. So around that time. Okay. Best fighting game, of course. Fighter Z. That's not a real surprise. It's not actually. That They've been promoting this game like dumb hard. And the movie coming out too, so of course. You guys know the movie's coming out? <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't, if you haven't heard, just the movie's coming out. And and there's an under, there's an under. Listen, if you think that I'm not excited, you're a liar. Like, I cannot wait for this movie to come out. Best sports racing game. Forza. <laughs> come on, Corey. Forza. I'm shocked they beat FIFA. I'm shocked they beat FIFA 19. Well, I told you they won. I'm just I, because I guess they say it's for sports and racing. The racing part kind of took over. The fact that you even doubted. I it did. Was win. I, I, I knew it was gonna win. Because they're actually the only racing game and it's on Xbox there. Xbox slash PC exclusive. I'm shocked. Where's the, their main thing? And speaking of main games. Like I said in our last video. What? It's Forza, it's Halo, or it's Gears. <sighs> Bill Spencer came out and said Halo, not well, Halo, Gears, whenever we on five, is dropping next year. Probably holiday. Well, most likely. I'm gonna holiday. guess September, October. Yes. That's when usually drops. My game that I can't wait for also got a release date. Last of Us Part Two. That is true. That's um, what during what's the game called? Stanley's Parable. I think that's mm -hmm. the game one because that that game dropped when the original Last of Us game dropped. Okay. So Last of Us won a bunch of awards. They didn't win anything. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the trailer, it was like Stanley's Parable, new ending, blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, the narrator's like, "What do you mean the Last of Us is also dropping next year?" So holiday time, most likely. Like I said in the last video, or our E3 video, I think it was. <laughs> Sony was going to drop either Death Stranding, Last of Us, or 
Ghost of Tsushima. Last of Us, like I said, is probably gonna drop first. Probably. That's correct. I love being right. I love predicting my company. Uh, yeah, I predict my company is still prove me right in the wrong way. <laughs> right in the wrong way. So, the wrong way. Last of Us probably, if I had to guess, October or November, mm -hmm. most likely, will come out. And then Gears probably drop September, October. That leaves Death Stranding and Ghost of Shima left, which those two will probably be safe for 2020, mm -hmm. which I would assume would be the release date for the PS5. So one or both would drop when the system drops day one, and then the other might drop like a little bit later. So if I had to guess, hopefully I'm right again. Um, if one of those drop at the PS5, I'm gonna go with Death Stranding and then Ghost of Tsushima will probably... Ghost of Tsushima looks really good. Yeah. Uh, will probably be a little bit after or maybe they both drop at the same time. Or it'll be like a split because Sony actually does something that Microsoft does. They have their game releases, mm -hmm. but they have a format instead of just releasing one, they release two or three. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Because when it started with um, Horizon, Zero Dawn, Neo, and Nier Automata, whatever okay. you pronounce the game. It started with those, and then they had Spider-Man, they had Death, mm -hmm. not Death Stranding, they had God of War, and they had <laughs> um, Detroit. Okay. So they have like a two or three game lineup mm -hmm. that comes out. Um, next year's just... Um, why am I drawing a blank? Days Gone. Ah, okay. where they are exclusive, and then I'm assuming the second game would be Last of Us Part Two. Okay. That should be the fall. Oh, okay. Good job. Good job, nice man. Good job. I'm proud of you, man. Do your research, man. Don't you you can't buy yourself next time. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. So, best multiplayer: um, Call of Duty Black Ops, Destiny 2, Fortnite, Monster World Hunter, Sea of Thieves. We already know who won that. Fortnite. Yeah, of course, we kind of predicted that, yeah. Game direction, God of War. That's a cry. Thank you. Game of the year. Which was God of War. God of War. That should have been a no right now. Well, you got to have faith. That's your problem. You're right. You're right, man. When it comes to having to rely on other people for that, to do the right thing. Keep doubting that. But when you go to E3, you're going to see in Forza Horizon 9, <laughs> the Space Edition. Probably. Here? So far? Yeah, because next year basically starts the bigger, like when everything starts to drop. Um, I think from like January on. I guess I'll go in order. <laughs> so January would be Kingdom Hearts 3. Okay. It's like the end of January. Um, actually, that last week of January also is the Anthem closed beta. And if you pre order or if you have um, their Origin premium subscription, you can play it then. And then February, I think it's like the first through the fifth, is the open beta to test out. Mm -hmm. So I'll probably do that. And then probably Jump Force. Um, yes. I'm not really, I'm not a fighting game person, but I'll, I'll play nah, I'll play because I'm an anime person. Yes. Oh, uh, what else comes out? You have the new Metro Exodus, same day as Anthem. I don't know why they just put everything <laughs> I think the week before is, I know it's Jump Force and it's something, I think, oh, Far Cry. The new Far Cry, New Dawn, which it's pretty much Rage 2. They have the same color scheme and the same premise mm -hmm. of apocalyptic yeah. world, so it's literally the same type of game. Um, Rage 2, I'll, I'll probably still play it, even though I'm talking about it. I'll probably play both of them, just to probably play um, Division 2 within March, hopefully they fix all the problems from Division 1. Hopefully it's worth playing. Same with Anthem, Anthem's new. I'll give them more of a pass, mm -hmm. since it's a new IP. Um, Days Gone in April, I think. March, April, one of the two games. Sony exclusive, I'm gonna play it. Regardless, of course, it's Sony. They, they do no wrong so far with their games. Talk about wrong. Um, one of these days I that will be, and I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs>
Good, I hope the tide turns. <laughs> I'm like, That's yes, scary. it's our time. Like it's one game. Yeah, it's not like Microsoft. It's your time to strike. <laughs> uh, Crackdown, uh, I'll give a try. I'll buy it. I think it's like March now. February, March? I think it's March. I think it moved it to March. Yeah. I can't remember. It's, it was delayed a game, so it doesn't really matter to me. I'm going to play it just to play it. I'm not excited. I'm not going in looking for anything like amazing. It's just something to eventually sit down and play and be. You know. It'd be great if I have friends to play with on Microsoft because you know I'm friends I want to play with. It's okay. So I'm looking for new friends to play with over here. I'm taking my shot. How about that? Just take your shot. Whatever. I'm looking for new friends to play with on Microsoft, okay? If you would like to be my oh. friend and, and, and play online together and chat, let me know, man. Just, just let me know. I can't. Gamer tag is twin ace 21. Yeah. Twin space yeah. ace when 21. They see this. Yes. <laughs> no shame. Like that. No shame. Okay, I'm uh, oh, listen, I've got my rant. Hold on, I'm annoyed. This guy has mold like a list of people. They call him, they get on his plate, they say, yo, yo, Courtney, yo, bullseye, whatever, whatever. I can't even get a request back. <laughs> so, no. If you have an Xbox and you want to play, let me know, okay? Look at me. Let me know. We will we will game. Okay, we will chat. You, you could be on a show. You want to take your spot? Fine, I don't care. <laughs> I set my piece. I took my shot. Bye. <laughs>